So today at uh, about 12.39 hours this afternoon, uh, a, um, uh, a person came up to one of our officers um, right up at the uh, near the Russell building and said that there was an individual in the park uh, that had a gun. Uh, the officers, uh, United States Capitol Police officers came down um, and saw uh, a 21-year-old man. His name is Amir Levon Morel. Uh, he was walking uh, along the sidewalk and he was holding the gun down as he walked. Um, they ordered him to stop. He did not. Um, as he, he was walking at a fairly slow pace down the sidewalk toward Union Station, um, the officers came up behind him. One officer who had a taser um, tasered him in the back. He fell forward onto his gun. At that point, the officers took him into custody. Um, we know that uh, Mr. Morrell, uh, again, 21 years old, he is from, uh, his, his identification says he's from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, he is a registered sex offender in uh, the state of Georgia, and um, uh, we have no other information about him. Uh, we are still looking. He had, a, he had left a bag um, on a bench in the park, and our bomb technicians are searching that bag. Uh, so far, we have not found anything suspicious. Um, in the bag, but that the search uh, of the bag is still ongoing. Um, from the time that the officers got word of that there was an individual in the park to the time we had him in custody was about three minutes. Um, there is, uh, based on our officers' limited contact and limited conversation uh, with Mr. Morrell, uh, there is some indication that he may be dealing with some mental health issues. We don't know that. Um, we don't know what his, why he was uh, in the park with a gun. Uh, he made no statements as to why he was here or what he intended to do. Again, um, it's still an, uh, an ongoing investigation. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you all might have. No indication that there was any threat directed specifically, sir, to anybody who's either working in Capitol, lawmakers, anything of that sort? There, um, Certainly, the fact that he was on Capitol grounds is uh, is is a concern. But the first uh, and the first person that gave us um, information was someone who was walking um, across the park toward uh, the Senate office buildings and where they notified our officers. So we don't know where he was prior to being on the bench, prior to walking on the sidewalk. As we caught him, he was walking on the sidewalk northbound toward. Uh, uh, Union Station. So uh, we don't have any indication that um, he w that he was any closer to the Capitol than uh, than this park. But again, we, we don't know where he was prior to our contact with him. What type of weapon was it? Um, it appears to be um, a semi-automatic weapon. It looks a little bit like an AR-15. I haven't gotten a full information uh, on the on the uh, weapon yet. Was it loaded, sir? Say again. Was it loaded? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I, um, uh, we're, that's that's still to be determined. Uh, well, uh, th no, not on Capitol grounds. It's not. You, um, I don't know that yet. Say again. Uh, Amir A H M I R, Lavon L A V O N, Morel M E R R E L L. He's 21 years old. His, his uh, driver's license said he, that states that he's from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and uh, as I say, he, we, what, one thing we got in the background was that he was a registered sex offender in the state of Georgia. He's an uh, African-American male. Is there a reason he was taken away in an ambulance? Uh, but due to being tasered, uh, just to check him out. Um, I don't know if they were able to remove the tasers from him, or the taser uh, darts from him or not. Some, if they if they don't fall out, um, oftentimes we'll go to the emergency room to have him taken out. But um, it's just uh, precautionary. He he seems to be all just fine. Did any officers make contact with him? He did not. Um, they were they came up behind him and were uh, shouting at him to drop the gun, um, and he just. Uh, 
he, he remained uh, facing forward and uh, had another officer who, a uh, plain clothes officer who was at the corner, he was walking toward that officer. And, um, uh, but th there were, there were a, a group of officers behind him, one officer with a taser, uh, the other officer stopped, allowed the other officer with a taser to go up behind him and he was shot with the taser, again fell and uh, dropped the gun. Um, there may, there, there, I, I have not confirmed that. It looked like there might have been uh, an extraditable warrant um, for him, but I have not confirmed that. I, I don't have any indication of that. That obviously we'll, we're going to do our best to find out, you know, trace where he was today, um, try and get an idea why he was here. Um, but all that at this point is, is uh, uh, yet to be determined. You mentioned that this is probably a good example of say, see something, say something. Um, absolutely, uh, the, the uh, individual who was walking up near the building uh, did the right thing by alerting our officers. And again, um, with the, from the time we were notified to the time he was in custody was less than three minutes. Uh, well, certainly he'll be charged with um, having a, a firearm on Capitol grounds, which is a which is a violation. Um, beyond that, um, we will have to determine if. Um, he, uh, uh, if that was, if the gun was legal, if it was uh, registered to him, there's there's a lot more that we need to look at. But the, certainly the the initial charge would be having a firearm on Capitol property. Did you make any verbal threats? You mentioned he was holding the gun down when he was assumed by witnesses. Did you make any verbal threats at all? He he did not. Um, at the before we took him into custody, he made uh, there was no uh, information exchange. We were telling him to drop the gun, and he just kept walking at a very slow pace and uh, until he was tasered. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't know the answer to that. All right, thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you. Don't know yet. Thanks. Can you confirm, can you confirm that this is him, Chief? Yeah, that's, that's, I appreciate it. Thank you.